Leaders can be the reason why a team fails. Are you the reason why your team leaps? Are you failing your team? Is your leadership the source of frustration? Are your staff really on board and how do you know? Are there undercurrents, silos forming, politics and turf wars? Are your staff silenced by your leadership? Do they wait for your final decision or they, are they empowered to decide to move forward as they see fit, to grow, to decide, to develop? Or do they have to wait for, your, for you to okay the next step? Do you treat them as professionals, as colleagues, or as those you are in charge of, waiting for your consent? Do you create a culture of conformity and compliance? Or one of understanding growth and empowerment? Do your team take risks? Is risk, is risk taking valued and appreciated? Or are you creating a team who know better, but are stopped from doing better? Is your leadership leading the team or controlling the team? Teams begin to silo, to rumble, and the politics begin. When leaders aren't meeting their needs, when leaders become the source of frustration, when leaders are either too controlling or offer no direction at all. Each is as bad as the other. People want control, strategic leadership, direction, and boundaries. Are you offering that? Are you decisive? Collaboration and consultation are important. However, many leaders have meetings under the guise of inclusiveness, yet it is a shadow for indecisiveness and inability to make a decision. Over-meeting and always consulting drives teams mad. It consumes time when an email would do and a decision could be made. Are you oversharing and under-deciding? What is the impact? You think you're consulting and empowering where in fact your, deceem, your team see it as frustrating, time-consuming and it positions you actually as indecisive. You begin to undermine yourself. Meetings for the sake of a meeting, when in fact you could be making that decision, you destabilise the ship and actually appear wishy-washy. Do you offer direction? Are you setting the focus? Setting the direction pathway for others? Can you articulate your direction, your vision, what you want from your team? As a team, as individuals over the next term, six months, year. Do you share this? Are you a communicator? Do your team, do your team feel that you offer a sense of purpose and direction? Have they bought into this? And how do you know? Are you setting your team on a pathway where they can make decisions, work independently, and they're getting on with their part of the plan? Are you allowing them to decide? checking of balancing the, the balance of checking in and not have you set boundaries and made the not negotiables clear are you starting again or simply as you finished off clarity it's pretty simple but are you clear and do your team know what to do and how to do it are you making decisions that are focused purposeful and with confidence that offer the clarity that people need to do their job. Are you approachable or do you have favourites? Do you portray yourself as a leader or are you actually undermining your actions, your work and your presence? Are you present or jumping from meeting to meeting behind a screen attached to emails or other requests? Do you respond or react? Are you, in fact, the leader? Leaders can be the greatest source of frustration. Most players leave the company and team, not because of the work and tasks asked of them, but because of the leader's inability to lead. 
Really, will the team speak up? They will, but they will speak with their actions. With the silos that form and the politics that evolve. Skilled leaders watch for this. To not is dangerous. One day you may wake up without your team. Sadly, it will be the excellent ones who leave. They won't say much. They will just leave. They would have given you signals and would have tried to change, to adjust and to tell you. But they know the efforts are falling on deaf ears. They won't kick up a fuss. They will just go. The positive all of this will be they are very likely to have learned from this and more often than not have taken their frustration to begin to lead in other settings. Your inability to lead is often the motivation that they need to move into leadership. Is it time to revisit your impact? How about rereading Silos, Politics and Two Forms by Patrick Lencioni? Because remember, leaders can be the reason why a team fails or why your team disappears.